Hello everybody, my name is Crispy and welcome to Five Nights with the Toys. I don't know if this game is actually Five Nights. That was sudden. A family... I, anyway, hold on, wait real quick. A family friendly piece for searching for a night at Watchmen to work from 12 to 6. Monitor cameras ensure safe... Just like the classic games. Always cutting me off in every other game. Hello everybody, my name is Crispy and I can't even get the introduction. Alright. Uh, hello? No. Hello, hello. Oh, hey. Welcome to Freddy's. I hope you're getting pretty comfortable with your office right now, since, well, you are gonna be in there for a while. Uh, anyways. Now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location. You know, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company, and, well, honestly, I'm not surprised that the location was left to rot for quite a while. The animatronics there were demolished, too. Uh, anyways, let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Alright, so, first, there's this reading from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's, uh, kind of a legal thing, you know? I'm just gonna quickly read it. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun comes to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed after 90 days, or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. Now, I know that sounds bad, but the only real risk to you as the Night Watch, if anything, is uh, the characters we have on stage. They're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night, but uh, engineers never really gave them a proper night mode. Or Basically, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room, and then they'll try to find where people are, and in that case, that's your office. If they actually happen to see you after hours, they probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll most likely see you as a metal endel skeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy's, they'll probably try to, uh, forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Now, considering that suit contains uh, cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, it probably might cause discomfort to you and death. So, our temporary solution to this is there are two buttons on each side of your office. Clicking on the white button will turn on a light outside the hallway, so you can see if anything's there. Pressing the red button, however, will cause a metal door to, to drop down from the ceiling. Those are security doors. You use those if the animatronics get close to your hallway. Just shut the doors and wait for them to leave. But I must warn you, we have a limited power supply at night, so don't keep them closed for too long or else, well, I'm sure you can guess what will happen. Also, um, there's uh, a music box that you have to wind up every once in a while. Just switch over to the prize corner video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. Doesn't really seem to affect any of the animatronics except for, uh, one. So like a puppet or whatever? Doesn't really matter. Um, I think that's all. You should be golden for today, so remember, check the cameras, close the doors only if absolutely necessary, and keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. So, hello everybody, my name is Crispy. He kept talking, even though I had to still finish my- Oh my god. Yo, that's crazy! Yo, they almost caught me lacking at the first second of the match. That's crazy. Chica boy. Uh, hold on, bruh. Batty going for real? No, he's still. He's not even trying, bruh. Please stop, bruh. Lock it, lock it. Oh. Yo, these models look crazy. These models look so. You know what's scary about these models is they look exactly like the ones that are actually in the game. Like that's like genuinely scary. Like this looks so. Af
Scott working for them. This is the most accurate looking FNAF fan game I've ever seen. I think this might even overtake uh, Fred Bear's Fright, or what it's called. Bro, that game was so. That might have been the number one most accurate FNAF fan game. That might have been up until now. This, this feels like genuinely. FNAF like 3 would have been like to people back in like what 20 2015? 2016? 3 times in one sentence. Oh, I'm cooked. It's been a minute, bro. Let me have my commentary my back, bro. Let me get it back, bro. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, alright. Well, uh, if you're hearing this, chances are you've made it to your second shift. Congrats. Now, I won't be talking for quite as long as the last time, since Freddy and his gang usually tend to get more active as the week progresses. It probably might be a good idea to keep checking those cams while I talk just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interesting to note, though, Freddy doesn't seem to come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes more active in the dark, though, and also, he doesn't seem to peek into those blind spots in your office. I think it probably might be a good idea to keep an eye on him since he's going to be hiding in those shadows entirely. 
Okay, I think that's all. Wait. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Uh, Funtai Proxy almost forgot. He is completely different from the others. Instead of trying to enter from the doorways, she will try to enter from the vents. We have a few cams set up in there because of that. If you see him in there, shut the vent. It's a feature that was added specifically because of her. That being said, don't keep the vents closed for too long though, since we know that closing the vent seems to stop it from, well, you know, doing its job, which is uh, making sure you get oxygen. So, uh, yeah, just don't keep that vent closed for too long. Got it? Alright, one more thing before I go. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. I really don't like that puppet thing. It's always... Never mind. Just don't forget to rewind the music box. I'm sure you have everything under control like last time. Talk to you soon. Good night. I think you trust me. Mysterious. Well, uh, Vincent. As so Actually, no. Vincent was purple guy. Uh, I don't think. I don't think phone guy had a name other than phone guy. So. I just know Vincent was the old name for the purple guy, and I. I don't know why. I don't know where we pulled Vincent. We meaning the weirdos who thought that was the true name. Enough waiting. I need Chica to come to my door ASAP, immediately. If I lose the game, that's no way. You're the victim.
Can I always tell you what's going on? Mango. Oh, that's so dope. That render looks so dope. Yo, this might be the number one most accurate from that fan game. I'm actually not kidding. This game looks dope. Like everything looks accurate. I didn't even I didn't even look at the screenshots. I went straight through the I saw out now on the game jump page randomly. I don't even follow this game developer. I saw out now and I was like, oh, cool, I'll play it. What is that? Oh, I thought it was Um I saw out now on the game jump page and I was like, bro. I was like, oh, I guess I'll play this one. I haven't played a game in a while. And look how accurate everything is. This game is like top two. Hi. You want like a classic FNAF game? This is it. This is what the Return to Freddy's wishes it would have been. Hello. You gotta understand like the amount of detail too. Like low key. Because like y'all see that bro? Sequences, the nights I feel like they took a really long time. That was 18 minutes. A night is supposed to be what six minutes, right? A night is six minutes. That felt way longer than six minutes. Hey, you're doing great. Most people usually don't last this long. I mean, they usually move on to other jobs by now. I'm not implying that they died. That's not what I meant. Anyways, did Funtime Foxy ever actually get into your office? Probably not. I was just curious. You know? They tried to recreate the old Foxy. They thought the old version was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly. To keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids are so reckless these days. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together after every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left her in some kind of take apart and put back together. Anyway, hang tight, and this shift will pass quickly. See you on the flip side. No. The flip side? Oh, the flip side. Get it? From FNAF World? Hi. I'm so entertained. This is kind of the issue why I never went back to it. Like, playing every FNAF fan playing every FNAF game is because I'd have to play FNAF 1 and I actually really don't like FNAF 1 and I can't lie to you it's not that much different for this game but I'm looking at it from a I'm looking at this game from a lens from a does it set out to do what it needs to do and if I mean the game's goal obviously is to be FNAF 1 with 20 electronics if that's 
that's the loop, then and this is executed literally perfectly. This is the best way I could ever see someone executing this. Because anything more than this. Music box. I can't see a thing because every second is brown. 
I'm not saying that because I'm going to do that with this game. I actually do plan on if this video does better. Going through the full game, I will do that to my best of my abilities. But just, again, um, I'll, I, again, I'll do it. It's just like, I don't know. It's only if. If it doesn't, then I would honestly prefer to do Nothing wrong with the game. It's literally nothing wrong with the game. I just don't like it. Let's go! Oh my god, yeah, alright. Oh, yeah, these nights are way longer than before. These nights feel longer, and I have to commentate for longer. Um, I think that we're gonna end it off right here. Can I? Can I okay, fine, I'll just, I'll, yeah, yeah, Buster. What are you gonna do about that? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna end this video off right here. Um, this game is phenomenal. Literally phenomenal. The graphics are that of FNAF. It this is some of, if not the absolute greatest like FNAF rendering I've ever seen. This is gen this is genuinely FNAF. <laughs> like I'm literally looking at FNAF right now. It's like Scott made this himself. Um and if you're asking if I'm doing tricks on it, I'm not only doing tricks, I'm doing splits, cartwheels, and maybe even some, uh, some 360s on it. Like, I'm, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm glazing all over this game, dude. This is insanely good. I have never seen, I don't think I've ever seen a project get this close, again, aside from, uh, what's his name, Garrett, oh, I forget his name, whatever. The guy who made, um, Fred Bear's Fright. There's only a few people, and by a few I mean him, that I've seen achieve that level of wow. And just seeing it again, bro, it just surprised, it surprised me too, because I didn't look at the gameplay screenshots, really. I just saw, like, uh, I don't know what animatronics on the hallway, but one of them was in the hallway, and I was like, okay, cool. I'll just play it because I haven't, I haven't played anything in like a week. And this, this is just the, nah, this is, this is the, the kiss, bro. But anyway enough 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 of me doing checks if you like this video if you like this game please go support the creator but if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe su subscribe please show your boy some love show drop a comment something like that please and i'll see you guys next time